Hi everybody, happy, happy, happy new year. It's Paula Vincent Johnson, your notary in the East, here to wish you a very happy 2020. I can hardly believe that we're in a new decade. Time is passing very quickly. The holidays are over. It's a new year. Most messages are about starting over. You know, new year, new you. I'm not going to do that. I want you to check something off your list. Many people tell me that they have been wanting to get their powers of attorney and wills done for quite a while, but they just don't take that final step. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not as hard as you may think. I want to encourage you to finally get it done before it's too late. When is it too late to get your legal documents in order? It's too late now if your loved one's condition has deteriorated to the point that they are no longer able to communicate well with anyone. It breaks my heart when families call me for assistance and I can't help them because the person they want to sign the documents is not able to tell me what their wishes are. It's just too late if you or your loved one can't communicate with me adequately. I don't want to see you or your family running around in a frenzy trying to get documents signed at the last minute. It's usually too late if you or your loved one is in the hospital. Having me come to the hospital to execute legal documents is not an ideal situation. I have done it under the best circumstances, but I've been unable to do it under the worst circumstances. If you are caring for a loved one who is ill, disabled, or elderly, then you should be discussing plans and wishes right now so that everyone knows what to expect as your loved one's condition deteriorates. Get their powers of attorney and will done now, because if you wait until the last minute to call me, I won't be able to help you. If you are ill or disabled, then you definitely want to make sure that your family will be able to take care of you without any difficulties. Powers of attorney reduce anxiety and stress for you and your family. And having your will prepared gives everyone peace of mind knowing that you communicated in writing what you want to happen after you die. I tell you what, last year I heard of way too many people who suddenly became ill and died. My family has experienced it and many of my clients and customers have shared stories of such losses with me. It makes me very sad. Don't leave your family in a situation where they wish you had signed that power of attorney. Now is the time to update and have a will prepared. Without it, the court will have the final say on who gets your money and property. Talk with the people you are caring for about their wishes. Who do they want to make decisions for them? Who's going to handle their finances and take care of the bills at the house? Who's going to talk to the doctors, nurses, and home health care professionals? And who do you want to do all those things for you? If you haven't gotten these documents prepared, then I know that you don't realize how difficult it will be to handle business without written authority. There will be a lot of important things that you can't get done. But here is one thing that you can take care of immediately if you haven't already done it. Subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. You'll learn how being prepared and planning for illnesses, emergencies, and death will greatly reduce your anxiety, fear, worry, your stress, and concerns when it comes to taking care of your family during difficult times. I want you to get this information. Look for me on Facebook and Twitter and visit my website at notaryintheeast.com. When you connect with me, I promise you'll learn something. Again, happy 2020. May God bless you this year and throughout the decade. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I'm Paula Vincent Johnson, your notary in the